Shirley Bassey said diamonds are forever. Marilyn Monroe told us they're a girl's best friend. But are diamonds really all they're cracked up to be? Sure, they're stunningly beautiful, but are we right to consider them an indicator of wealth and status? This video might surprise you. From a world-famous jewel of the Australian outback to an unmistakable icon of Chinese culture, here are five gemstones more expensive than diamonds. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. Black Opal What's in a name? After all, first impressions can be deceiving. Case in point, the Black Opal, the rarest gemstone in the Opal family. It's one of the most expensive jewels in the world too, with top quality stones currently priced at around $10,000 per carat. Black Opal originates from a small town called Lightning Ridge in New South Wales, Australia, also known as the Black Opal capital of the world. The mineral it's comprised of include carbon and iron oxide, giving the stone a much darker shade than the white opal and the rest of its paler siblings. We know what you're thinking, a black gemstone? How is that even worth a dime? Well, here's the thing, opals are best known for the dazzling display of rainbow colors they emit as they refract the light, and the black opal is no exception. However, its beauty comes from how vividly these colors show up against its dark body compared to lighter variants. Both the brightness and pattern of a black opal's coloring can greatly affect its value, with an abundance of reds tending to fetch the biggest price. The Aurora Australis, named after the natural phenomenon better known as the Southern Lights, was long considered the most valuable black opal in the world. Mined from deep within the Lightning Ridge seabed in 1938, it has a blue coloring with flecks of green and red, and it's said to feature a beautiful imprint of a starfish on the back. Weighing in at 180 carats, the Aurora Australis was already worth over $680,000 when it was last valued back in 2005. But it can't hold a candle to the royal one, a rare black opal first discovered in the Australian outback by a miner called Bobby, who whisked it away and kept his incredible find a secret for 14 years. He spent this time polishing the gem with a dental drill, if you can believe that, before passing it on to Australian jewelry designer Catherine Jetta. Exactly how much Jetta ponied up to take the royal one off Bobby's hands remains a mystery, but thanks to its mesmerizingly vivid mix of blues and greens, this 306 carat beast was most recently valued at a staggering $3 million. So it'll come as no surprise that tens of thousands of people flock to Lightning Ridge every year digging for their fortune. Number 4. Jadeite If the thought of a gem selling for $3 million just blew your mind, what about one that goes for up to $3 million per carat? That honor goes to Jadeite, the rarest stone in the jade family. Jadeite is found all over the world in places like Russia, Guatemala, Canada, and New Zealand. But the best source is believed to be a deposit in Myanmar, Burma. Jadeite is so expensive, only the richest people in the world will ever be able to afford it. While it may not be the sparkliest of jewels, it has a sophisticated, understated beauty to it. Jadeite is available in several different colors, including red, yellow, orange, and purple. Although, much like the rest of the jade family, it is most often found in green. Despite green being the most common color, however, the most valuable jadeite is an incredible shade of green known as imperial jade. In fact, at one stage, all the imperial jade found anywhere in the world had to be shipped directly to the royal court of China. We're sure you'll agree it doesn't get much more prestigious than that. The record for the most expensive jadeite jewelry ever sold is currently held by a Cartier necklace containing 27 stunning translucent green jadeite beads, topped off with a clasp of rubies and diamonds set in platinum and 18 karat yellow gold. It was previously owned by American heiress Barbara Hutton, who passed away in the late 70s. In 2014, eight buyers went to battle in the auction house to secure the necklace for themselves. After a fierce 20-minute bidding war, it sold for a world record break in $27.4 million, over double its original estimate. 
The irony, when the hammer finally came down, Cartier had the winning bid, the manufacturer who made the necklace in the first place. It also broke a second world record for the most expensive Cartier jewel ever sold. But does it really count if you buy it yourself? The jury's still out on that one. Number 3. Alexandrite One of the rarest jewels in the world, Alexandrite is derived from the mineral chrysoberyl and best known for its ability to change color in different types of light. First found in Russia's Ural Mountains back in 1830, Alexandrite was named after Prince Alexandra II, whose birthday it just so happened to be on the day the stones were discovered. In the natural light, the gems shone a beautiful green color, but later that evening by the light of the fire, they began to glow a deep red. Coincidentally, green and red were the signature colors of old Imperial Russia's military forces, so the country's people began to consider Alexandrite a good omen, and it became massively popular among Russian aristocrats. By the turn of the 20th century, all the Alexandrite deposits in Russia had been depleted, and mineral experts believed there were no more to be found. Thankfully, since then, even larger supplies have been uncovered in parts of Africa, Asia, and South America, albeit not as bright or colorful as the original Russian stones. Alexandrite's value is primarily dictated by its color changing ability, as well as its clarity and size. Individual halls of this exceedingly rare gemstone tend to be very small. Even now, that explains its eye-watering value at upwards of $12,000 per carat. Most miners would consider themselves incredibly lucky to find one over five carats, although chunks of Alexandrite weighing up to 60 carats have been discovered at a deposit in Ceylon, Sri Lanka. Fun fact, Alexandrite was one of the favorite gemstones of world-famous mineralogist and Tiffany & Co buyer George Coons. It was because of Coons and his appreciation of these chameleon-like jewels that Tiffany had something of a monopoly on them for many years. Nowadays, there's a huge demand for synthetic Alexandrite, first created by scientists back in the 60s. Like other gemstones grown in laboratories, Synthesized Alexandrite possesses all the same properties but at a much lower price. That said, in terms of lab-created gems, Alexandrite still ranks as one of the most expensive on the market. There are also a few less expensive copycats like Corundum, as well as many other chrysoberyl stones with similar color-changing properties. They say nobody likes a fake, but hey, if it means saving tens of thousands of dollars, we can probably let it go. Number 2. Red Beryl you may not have heard of the extremely rare red beryl or even the far more common green beryl. But then again, green beryl isn't actually known as green beryl at all. So that isn't going to help you much. In fact, green beryl goes by another name, emerald. So the real surprise is there are essentially red emeralds out there. Who knew? However, there's a very good reason behind one of gemology's best kept secrets. The first red beryl was mined in Jaub County, Utah, way back in the early 1900s. Unfortunately, it was found to be incredibly tricky to facet, with only 10% of mined red beryl actually being suitable for turning into gemstones. Furthermore, the grand total of zero additional gem quality deposits have been unearthed since, making this one of the rarest jewels in the world, and subsequently one of the most expensive, at up to $10,000 per carat. Poorer quality supplies have been found in New Mexico, so it's anyone's guess what kind of discoveries will crop up in the future, sometimes referred to as Scarlet Emerald or Bixbite. After Maynard Bixby, the miner who discovered it, a lot of red beryl features purple and pink accents, earning it yet another nickname, Rasp Beryl. In fact, there's a lot of confusion around red beryl with the Federal Trade Commission even clamping down on the use of the term red emerald. Like Alexandrite, gem quality red beryl is found in extremely small amounts, with most sizing up at under one centimeter in length and up to a quarter of a carat in weight. To put things in perspective, the largest known red beryl in the world is only eight carats. Thankfully, its striking color goes a long way to make up for its diminutive stature. Much like other particularly rare gemstones, a line of far less expensive synthetic red beryl was launched at a Russian laboratory in the mid-90s, although production is said to have ceased a few years ago. Still, if you manage to track it down, you could bag yourself one of the most beautiful gemstones in the world at a bargain price, and only the most eagle-eyed gemologists will be able to tell the difference. Number 1. Taffyite Taff what now? Indeed, you could be forgiven but never having heard of taffyite. It's just that rare. The majority of taffyite has a pale mauve coloring, although blue, green, purple, red, and clear varieties 
have also been discovered. Tafiite is a relatively new find by gemstone standards, sharing a lot in common with another young upstart of the mineralogy world, Muscovite. There are two other very good reasons why it's flown under the radar since its discovery. Top drawer Tafiite sells for an earth-shattering quarter of a million dollars per carat, but unfortunately, it also suffers from a very unfortunate case of mistaken identity. The very first stone was discovered by Austrian gemologist Richard Taff in Dublin, Ireland in 1945, although nobody understood what an incredible find it was at the time. The problem is Taffeite bears a striking similarity to spinal. So what's the problem? Well, spinal generally only fetches up to $500 per carat, a measly 0.2% of the value of Taffeite. It was only when Taff noticed the 1.4 carat stone refracting two separate rays of light, as opposed to Spinal's one, that he began to uncover the true value of his treasure. However, it wouldn't be confirmed until 1951, when the gems underwent proper analysis at a gemology lab. Even today, Tafiite continues to be routinely mistaken for Spinal. The primary factor behind Tafiite's market value is just how few have been discovered around the world. From its original unearthing in 1945, it would be another 50 years before anyone else managed to track down a single one, and that's all they found, one. A few more have since been mined in Sri Lanka, China, Tanzania, and Burma, although many of the stones found there were of much lower quality. Several mining companies in Madagascar are currently on the hunt for Tafiite, so it remains to be seen whether it will ever fully emerge into its own double refracted spotlight. So, are your diamonds looking as though they've lost a little of their luster now you've laid eyes on these incredible wonders of the world? Are you already en route to Tiffany to check out their stunning line of Alexandrite jewelry? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time.